Micah Share, she doesn't want this happening to anyone else, and she wants the people who did this to understand this wasn't a funny prank. It was actually really dangerous. On Sunday afternoon, Lana Clay Monahan, a new mom of twin boys, was shopping for baby supplies when she was completely caught off guard. Four teenagers waited until she was alone in the aisle, tossed a bucket over her head, then started recording and eventually ran out of the store. I was looking at some baby soap. I leaned down and then my whole world changed. Everything went dark, quiet, and there really was no air. I flipped off what was put over me and around my neck, and I turned around and looked over my left shoulder, and to my dismay, it was a group of individuals um, who were filming me. Lana is a 30-year cancer survivor and developed epilepsy later in life. She says the assault deprived her of air and she fainted soon after. She was rushed to UC Irvine Medical Center. She says this had a physical and psychological impact. I keep looking over my shoulder. I'm a nervous wreck. I cannot believe that in my community you could go to Target, be in Target maybe a mere 10 to 15 minutes, and someone would find it amusing to come and strategically find a female by herself in the baby aisle and think this would be funny or laughable for likes. Tustin police believes this stunt may be part of what's known as the stranger bucket challenge, a trend surfacing on social media platforms like TikTok. The idea is people sneak up on an unsuspecting person, put a bucket over their head and film their reaction. Obviously in this case, uh, it can have some pretty bad consequences, but at the end of the day, it's a crime. It's an assault and battery. Uh, on another person, and we're going to investigate it that way. For Lana, who is still recovering from neurological side effects, this was anything but funny. And this needs to be, um, you know, an example that families can talk about now and say, look, you see this on social media, it's not appropriate to do that. And again, those individuals need to come forth and be held accountable. And so far, police have not found any social media videos of this particular incident, but they are using surveillance video from inside this Target and collecting witness statements about what happened. I did reach out to Target tonight about the investigation and am awaiting a response. We're live in Tustin tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. No doubt a number of cameras caught what happened. Rachel, thanks.